Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Rain or Shine. In May 2023, my husband and I visited some of the best destinations in Sardinia. Today, I'll be sharing with you our favorite towns in Sardinia, one of the most spectacular islands in the world. Sardinia is located in the west of Italy, over the Mediterranean Sea. So here are our top 6 Sardinia towns in no particular order. First on our list is the colorful Bossa. It is located in the west of the island. Bossa is often named as one of the most picturesque towns in all of Italy. Its multicolored houses are really a joy to witness and the river Temo crosses the town, connecting it in few minutes with the sea. So Bossa feels a lot like a coastal town. Start by enjoying the riverside for a while, cross the Ponte Vecchio and visit its cathedral. Then continue your way strolling around the charming streets while you climb the steep slopes towards the top of the historic center. There, you'll find the medieval castle of Serravalle, built by the Malaspina family around the 13th century. The views from the castle walls and towers over Bossa are really impressive. Beyond Bossa Marina, the coastal area known as Cane Malu is famous for its natural sea pools and also for its incredible terrain made of trachyte rocks. We felt like walking on the moon in such a surreal landscape. Number 2 on our list is Posada. It is located in the northeast of the island. Posada is considered one of the most beautiful towns in Sardinia. With its historic center, located on top of a hill overlooking the surrounding countryside, the nearby sea, and the not-so-distant mountains. The slow flowing of time in its quiet streets and its colorful medieval buildings made us feel like traveling back to the past. The ruins of the Castello della Fava are the most stunning construction of the town. Posada is also one of the most ancient villages on the island, with origins that go to the 5th century BC. We were meant to stop only for a short time in the town, but at the end, we spent almost a whole day strolling around its historic center. Don't miss Posada in your trip to Sardinia, because it's really worth to visit. Next on our list is Lolove. It is located in the east of the island. Lolove is a semi-abandoned enchanted village in the mountains of Nuoro. This may not be one of the most famous towns in Sardinia, but there is an enigmatic story behind this medieval village. Legend says, that in the Gothic era, some nuns of Lulove were accused of having carnal relations with the shepherds. So they were banned from the local convent and before leaving, they cursed the village in the following way. Lulove will be like the sea water. It would never grow, but also it would never die. Today, its empty stone buildings and quiet cobbled streets are a glimpse to the past of Sardinia. It may seem that the best days of Lulove are long gone, that it is closer to die than to fully live again. But then, we met some friendly locals and we learned that the 12 inhabitants of the town are working passionately to bring visitors back. Now, Lolove, included in the list of the most beautiful Italian towns, offers a B&B, a museum, 
some annual celebrations and the opportunity to merge with past traditions and the surrounding nature. We invite you to come here and bring more life to Lolove. It will be worth it for sure. Number four on our list is Castel Sardo. It is located in the northwest of the island. Castel Sardo is also considered one of the most beautiful towns in Italy. In medieval times, this was an almost impenetrable fortified town with thick walls and tall towers. The castle of the Durias, built in between the 12th and 13th centuries, was its most important construction. We advise to start the visit in the marina and walk across the promenade to enjoy the first views of its colorful houses hanging over the sea. Then keep your way towards the top of the town and once there, entering the charming streets of the historic center feels like traveling back in time. Visit also the Cathedral of Sant'Antonio Abate, with its stunning bell tower overlooking the sea, was built with a mix of Catalan Gothic and Renaissance styles. To finish a perfect time in Castel Sardo, return to the promenade to watch how the warm lights of the sun illuminate the vibrant colors of the buildings during the golden hour. Our number 5 on the list is Alguero. It is located in the northwest of the island. This is the fifth largest city of Sardinia, but its historic center feels more like a medieval town, totally separated from the modern parts of the city. Alguero has a very interesting history. Nowadays, its inhabitants still speak Catalan, a reminder of the times when the crown of Aragon ruled over Sardinia from the 14th century. When the Spanish domination over Sardinia came to an end in 1720, the people of Alguero decided to maintain their language and many of their traditions. Alguero is also known as the capital of the Coral Riviera. The Catalan influence over Alguero is clearly noticeable in the charming architecture of the city. Don't miss the numerous towers of the city and walk on its imposing bastions overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. Last but not the least is the town of Seulo. It is located in the mountains of southern Sardinia. This small town was my favorite part of our trip. Sardinia is one of the five blue zones in our planet. In these areas, there are many people reaching 100 years old while staying fully functional and healthy. The life expectancy of the Blue Zones is higher than the global average of the world. Check our full vlog about Seulo to learn more about the Sardinia secrets to long life. This town is known to have the highest number of centenarians per capita, but it is also surrounded by some incredible natural sights. It offers delicious gastronomy and its people are extremely welcoming. I'll never forget our time chatting with Luigi, who just turned 100 years old this same year. That ends our top 6 towns to visit in Sardinia. Let us know in the comments section about your favorite towns in the island and if you agreed with our choices. If you want to know more about our detailed trip in Sardinia, including tips about accommodation, transportation, and foods, plus many other places that we visited, check the full vlogs of our Sardinia travel series. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more travel content. Most of our viewers haven't subscribed yet. It's really important to help us grow our channel in order to post more videos in the future. Until next time, keep exploring rain or shine.